Here's everything you will need to complete this project. You're going to need a computer running Windows 10 with the Insider Preview with a build of at least 10,069. If you look in the lower right hand corner of my desktop, you can see I've got build number 10,074. This is sufficient. You then need to register with Microsoft Connect. Uh, their website looks like this. Uh, I've already registered here, but I will link in the description where you register and a link for how to register. You'll also need a Raspberry Pi, the second edition of it, with the quad core and one gig of RAM. You're going to need a new 8 gigabyte micro SD card to install on. Uh, HDMI or AV cable, whatever you choose to use for your monitor, a 5 volt micro USB cable, and Ethernet cable with internet. Once you've registered with Microsoft Connect, you then want to go to this site and download the Windows 10 Internet of Things build for the Raspberry Pi. Once your file is downloaded, extract it to the desktop. This file, flash.ffu, is the image file we will be burning to the SD card later. We will have to navigate to this in the terminal. The next thing you need to do is open up an administrator command prompt. This can be done by right clicking the start button and going and clicking here. From here we want to get to the directory that contains the flash.ffu. From here, go ahead and put your SD card into your computer. We're going to locate it and determine what its disk number is. This can be done by typing in disk part. From there you want to type list disk. And you can see disk number 2 is a 7.6 gig card. At 8 gig. So this is what, what we're going to be using. All you need to do is just remember your disk number. We're going to be using this later. Go ahead and type exit and get out of disk part. From here we're going to be typing in a command to actually write the image to the SD card. This is where you're going to write your drive number. For me it's drive 2. This is the entirety of the command that you're going to need to write. You now have written the image to the SD card. All that is left is to plug it into your Raspberry Pi. Install your SD card into the Raspberry Pi and hook it up so that you can run it. Uh, what's required is the display and the Ethernet cable and the power. Raspberry Pi is turning on where you can see the LEDs blinking and on the monitor you can see the Windows symbol. It will then go black and it's going to stay like this for quite some time. After the screen goes black it's going to feel like an eternity before this screen comes up. It's going to sit at this screen for another few minutes and then it's going to reboot. After your Raspberry Pi reboots for the second time, you'll then come to this screen. This means your Raspberry Pi is ready to be developed on using Windows 10. Congratulations.